this is part two, this is where we left off from last time, six months later. Just enter the lobby. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A breaking out of Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. I have to see Sorry. Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. Oh, Jesus, cool. That's my fault that the stuff that you give me isn't working properly. Why is David keeping the SWAT team from going in right away? Remember the yeah, David. Yeah, Dave. Let's talk to this guy here, shall we? Hello, Pritchard. About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might be. <laughs> Looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. Oh. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. Oh, cheers. Lucky for you, I'm gonna ignore that comment. We're done here. Yes. I'm not gonna fall to your nastiness, you nasty man. Comment in. Something I couldn't prevent. Adam, how close are you to the helipad? Almost there. Yeah. Good. Because SWAT's about to turn this into a PR nightmare. Meet me in the chopper. I'll brief you as we go. Oh, cool. Come here. Who are you? Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Malik. Duty calls. Don't I know it? I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you? Six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? Um. Uh, yeah. Only one way to find out. Roger that. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. You all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. Um, yeah, I think I'm ready. I'm ready. Great. Then let's get airborne. Let's do this. Another loading screen, brilliant. <clears throat> so how's everyone doing today? This is part two, obviously. Um, I know I've not been speaking much, but I've let you take in what's happening. I don't want to talk over the cutscenes. I told Farida to put us down on a roof. I don't want the crowd seeing you go in. Fine, as long as she pulls you out the minute I'm gone. So what am I looking at here? Who are these guys? Pro-human purists, or so they say. The same purists who've been firebombing limb clinics all over the country. You buy that? No, I don't think it's a coincidence they hit us today, only hours after we moved the Typhoon in for assembly line factory. The Typhoon? Megan's team was testing it the day that bastard... 
Who's on point for these guys? Adam. Bear resentment. I know you and Megan were once... Who is on point for these guys? Goes by the name of Sanders. That's him, there. Colonel Sanders. He's an augmented Adam. So he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us, but he did know exactly how to get inside our plant. All right. So how do you want me to handle this? First priority is the Typhoon. I'm keeping SWAT out until you've secured it. As far as rules of engagement go, I'll defer to you. Lethal or non-lethal? Uh... Um... 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 Should I go in lethal or non-lethal? Let's try and just try and do it as stealthy as we can. I'm not looking to start a firefight in there, just neutralize them. Okay. But just make sure those bastards don't wake up and warn their friends. You remember what it's like in there? A lot of tight enclosed hallways, but the labs themselves are pretty open. High ceilings. So, do you want something you can use from a distance or up close? I'll have a distance weapon. Yeah, I'm a distance weapon. Give me something with distance. If I get too close, I'll take them out personally. Just try not to break anything expensive. Right, cool. The Typhoon should be in the factory labs, but Pritchard will tell you more as you go in. I've got him running comms. Terrific. Anything else? Keep your eyes open for hostages. Free them if you can, but the Typhoon is your number one priority. We developed it for the Alphabet agencies, and if we don't deliver it to them intact and still a secret, well, I'm sure you'll get the job done right. Gentlemen, prepare for landing. No. After six months, my first assignment, let's see how I get on. Die, no doubt. At any point during the game, you can access the in-game menu. The inventory holds all the items you are carrying with you. It has a fixed size, which can be upgraded through augmentation. You can move inventory items around, examine them, or combine them with upgrades. In the heat of battle, you can rely on the quick inventory instead. It allows you to quickly equip a weapon, change grenade type, or use an item. Simply press the keyboard key associated with the slot in which the desired item resides. You can swap the content of a slot in and out as you please by accessing the inventory screen. The objective screen details your current missions and objectives. The log screen is a repository of all the emails and books you read on your journey. The map is a helpful tool that allows you to see where you are in relation to your objectives. Useful locations such as merchants and limb clinics are also marked. The augmentation trees are where you can spend experience points to upgrade augmentations you own. Simply select an augmentation and choose which upgrade you want to buy. Upgrading augmentations can be done anywhere, at any time. So now that I can upgrade whenever I want. What's this? Painkillers. Nice. Jensen, it's me, Pritchard. Where are you? On a roof overlooking the plant. Good. Your point of entry should be through shipping and receiving. Should be, uh. Francis. What the hell does that mean? We have an employee entrance there. Heavily guarded by purists, no doubt. So, if you're not a fan of the frontal assault, I suppose you could try accessing the building's roof. Oh, let's try the roof access. Right, how do I get the roof access? There's the roof access. Um. Well, 
could just take the ground access. Yeah, everything seems under control. No sign of SWAT. Getting too close to any guard is a risk. You're better off staying far away from them. Learn their patrols and time your moves accordingly. If you can avoid it, it's generally better not to engage them. Sure, a lone target may be tempting, but you never know. Backup might be right around the corner. If you have no other choice, try taking out your targets silently by moving up behind them and tapping the takedown button to put them to sleep. Ow. Killing them is a more permanent solution, but also involves making more noise. To do it, simply hold the takedown button. Whether you kill or stun, all takedowns burn up energy. If your energy bar is empty, you will not be able to use your augmentations. You can, however, replenish your energy cells through the consumption of nutrients. Regardless, don't leave bodies lying out in the open. If they are found, an alarm will be called in. So grab them and drag them out of the way. Alright. Cheers for that. Put to sleep. No! Ah! Come with me, my little precious. Um, over here. Hi, Joe. Yeah. Why does it come up with guards again? No, we've already done that. We know what that is. Oh, we've got a gun. Being stealthy hinges on sight and sound. Crouching down will assure you are making the least amount of noise possible. Line of sight is important, and by keeping behind cover, you'll stand a better chance that enemies won't detect you. Avoid jumping and sprinting, as it will certainly give away your position. What the fuck is that? Oh, cool. Jesus. Oh God. Watch out for the troll, shall we? I guess he's just standing there, like, I'll just, just stand here, shall I? Um. I said, hey! Jesus, what happened? Oh shit. <laughs> I'm on my nerve. How do I look down the scope? Didn't tell me that. Shift. Brilliant. Ooh. Go. 
Going well. Psych. Pretty. I'm doing so well. That was it. Shaking that ass. <coughs> All I can say is that went better than expected. <laughs> Not. What's he got underneath it? Let's take that pistol. And there's me thinking I could do this all stealthy. Take some credit chips off that bad boy. See if I can uh, do the next bit a bit better, shall we? Bridger, I'm in. Oh the God! The door worked just fine. I'm happy for you. The typhoon is in the factoring labs. There's an elevator just past the assembly labs that will take you to it. Got it. There's one man down. He went asleep. You went asleep, so acting like you've been. So long, No, I. But you had to kill because you were getting annoyed. Take that pistol. Um, what did you have? Oh, I'll be having them credits. Sorry, but I'm just, I'm just going over your corpses and just nicking anything you have on you. If you don't mind, right? I'm standing up here, thinking that there's nobody else around. Stun darts. That'll help. Um. Yep, taking us as well. Now, according to this, if you press tab, yeah, got that. Yeah, what's that? Tranquilizer dart, stun gun ammo, pistol ammo, that's quite good. Go on then, my friend. Reload that. Right, so that's that. I think I might as well just have the pistol on me now, seeing that. Anybody else? According to my um, all right, let's see how we get on. What's that? What'd you call me? <laughs> oh, so if you press E then E again, it obviously takes I 
very nice. Cheers for that. Quick reading. Hello. Oh, brilliant. I just made myself. I just drunk a beer and I'm pissed. Brilliant. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Who's saying that? Where am I looking? That is some good shoot. I see you, bro. Who the fuck are you? We going, asshole? You running away? Well, I just woke you up, didn't I? Can't you hit me, asshole? Eat it! Oh, headshot! Boom! Reload. Take all. Thank you very much. Take that as well. Well, this silence mission didn't really end up a silence mission now, did it? Seeing that I went in with a trank and came out with a pistol, which kills people. Oh, what could be in here? What's that? Trank blood darts. Could be here for some time, people. What's that? Credit chip? Yeah. <laughs> These people, when they come back to their lockers, are not going to be happy that I've just... One... Let's see what's in these ones... What is that? Rifle right, ammo... Uh, nothing? Empty? Nice? Revolve? I haven't even got a revolver yet. Take another beer in case I get a bit thirsty and get a bit pissed again. No, don't close. I want the stuff that's in there. Right. Ooh. The Janice's closet. Bit of bleach. Bit of toilet roll. Guess there's nothing in there that I need. Oh, more. Uh, nothing there. There. Uh, oh. Concussion grenade. Ooh. Right, anyway. Hey, Bim. Bim? Right, anyway. Guess it's this way, right? Jensen, I just tried to unlock the assembly lab door, but my override codes aren't working. Someone's changed the protocols. What? Didn't you plug the. I'm on it! But until I find this particular breach and fix it, you'll have to hack the door manually. Bridget, Richard out. Let's find out how this is done. When hacking, your goal is to take control of a device's registries, so you can access the security codes within. To do it, you must navigate the network, capturing nodes as you go along. You begin a hack from your point of entry in the system, the I.O. port. To capture a node, simply place the cursor over it, and hold the interaction button. A wheel will appear, showing you the programs that can be used against it. Traveling from node to node is accomplished using bridges. A bridge can be unidirectional or bidirectional, as shown by its arrows. Each time you capture a node, there is a chance the network will detect your presence. The higher a node's rating, the greater the likelihood that you will be detected. If detected, don't panic. You still have a chance, you just need to hurry. The network will try to trace your entry point and boot you out of the system. If you manage to capture the registries before the network trace reaches your I.O. port, you'll oh. be okay. Right, now that we've found out how to hack, I'm going to leave it there. So that's the end of part two. Cheers for watching and we'll pick it up from here next time. Catch you all later. Bye.